Mastering prohibition with negative modal verbs. Hello, language learners. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of English modal verbs. Specifically, we'll focus on using negative modal verbs to express prohibition. This is an essential skill to polish your English communication, so let's jump right in. Modal verbs are helping verbs that express necessity, possibility, or ability. When we use them in their negative form, we often express the opposite. The impossibility, the inability, or, in our focus for today, the prohibition. Examples of negative modal verbs used for expressing prohibition are mustn't, you mustn't touch the wet paint, can't, you can't enter without a pass, shouldn't, you shouldn't smoke in the library. The negative modal verb mustn't is a very direct and strict way to express prohibition. It's often used for rules and regulations. For example, you mustn't drive over the speed limit. Students mustn't use their cell phones during an exam. Can't, another negative modal verb, is also used for prohibition but it is generally less strict than mustn't. It's often used to indicate something is not allowed due to rules, physical impossibility or circumstances. For example, you can't go swimming after eating, it's not safe. I can't lift this heavy box. The negative modal verb, shouldn't, is a softer way to express prohibition. It's often used for recommendations or to express something that is not a good idea rather than a strict rule. For example, you shouldn't eat too much junk food, it's not healthy. We shouldn't leave our luggage unattended. Now it's time for you to practice. Try to create your own sentences using mustn't, can't, and shouldn't. Remember, practice is key to mastering these negative modal verbs. Thank you for joining us today as we explored how to express prohibition with negative modal verbs. Keep practicing, keep learning, and you'll master these modal verbs in no time. Until next time, happy English learning!